got no home, ain't got no shoes, ain't got no money, ain't got no class, ain't got no skirts, ain't got no sweaters, ain't got no perfume, ain't got no love, ain't got no faith. I ain't got no culture, ain't got no mother, ain't got no father, ain't got no brother, ain't got no children, ain't got no aunts, ain't got no uncles, ain't got no love, ain't got no mind. simple words used in the lyrics of the song and beautifully sung for comparison it would be unfair to say to assume who are the two types of people she is talking about here one is herself or her, her, her uh, perhaps ordinary folks mm -hmm. in one part of the world the other person who, who is it is she talking about the colored people in america and how they are treated even till today uh of uh, this song perhaps must be 30 40 years who is she talking about i can't uh, safely assume mm -hmm. but i am assuming it's someone like that uh, some community like that who's uh, definitely feeling uh, outcast oppressed and outlined mm -hmm. um, outliers basically outliers may be looked at as a good thing in today's world in certain communities but it's never good to be on the sidelines all the time uh she starts with ain't got no home got no shoes ain't got no money got no class no skirts sweater perfume ain't got no love ain't got no faith and then uh, in the second half of the song she talks about every single body part almost of hers and how she's got all of it and uh, much much more 
so she's got life so she's uh, i'm assuming it's a comparison it's a contrast what purpose does this comparison or contrast have i have no idea mm-hmm. but i'll assume that uh, sometimes we talk about you know our toothaches our headaches we make a big deal out of things which may be very tiny in comparison to some other community or some other part of the world where things are pretty pretty pathetic pretty horrific at most times but yet those people really may not be complaining as much as you you know for them a headache or toothache might be an a daily affair for you when it happens once in a blue moon you really panic you say oh i've got this you run to a couple of doctors at least you start taking a whole lot of pills so we all know that america is one country who practically consumes 70% or more of the world's prescription drugs uh, and uh, a lot of americans majority of americans are on some drug or the other whether medical or non medical so that shows a sorry state of affairs in one part of the world but if we look at our own lives maybe we have our own set of problems and uh, only uh, someone when they actually analyze it properly will understand that maybe our problems may not be as big as that person's problems either way it's not about comparing we all have problems maybe nina simon is trying to say that that we all have problems and uh, look at those people they have so many problems but they are not complaining and me even one tiny problem and i'm making such a big deal out of it so that's what i understand of it she is making a comparison she is saying she has it all but yet when tiny things happen i complain i make a big deal of it but look at those people they have nothing but yet they seem to be smiling and happy i like nina simon's music uh, she is truly universal and every time we listen to her i just like it uh, so far so good uh, so every song that we have reacted of nina simon has been amazing and uh, uh, some of them are uh, iconic as well and around the world not just in one part of the world but anywhere people listen to it people fall in love with it it's that kind so her music is definitely meaningful her music is definitely uh, tra- you know goes cross borders and goes around the world easily uh, so it's something that most people relate to for me it was uh, you know um, whether we choose to complain in our life or whether we choose to be thankful be thankful of things that we have so you know the first part was where uh, somebody is complaining about everything because that person isn't looking uh, inward but everything is outward so everything come uh, the happiness uh, satisfaction um, purpose meaning everything to that person's life comes from everything that is external so whether it is material things whether it is you know uh, in comparison of other people what they have and when it turns inward where she you know talks about herself uh you have everything what do you have to complain about so it was that way for me listening to it uh that he, she complained about shoes money class clothes everything material that you know we would like to have only when we compare ourselves to somebody else because uh even if i will have sweater it may not be the good one because somebody else has a better but when you come to the fundamentals or come to the basics you've got two limbs you've got uh, or, or sorry four four limbs you've got eyes you've got nose you've got mouth you've got your brain you've got your blood everything is running just like anybody else so what's the problem your machinery is as good and as well oiled as anybody else's so is there a comparison when it comes to the basic level so i felt it was a complainer uh, against uh, someone who's thankful to everything that i have and i have the freedom to use it the way i would like it so i felt it was between these two sides that we can choose in any situation or in any location we can choose to complain about things that we don't have or be thankful of the things that you have and then you can start doing the things that you need to do mm-hmm. so it felt like that mm-hmm.